thought you were done with us. Wishful thinking? I just came from Arkham. Tell me this deranged doctor of yours isn't going to be a bigger problem. Deacon, why? Because I hear he's made a friend. Don't worry, doctor. Everything is as it should be. The stage is set. Worlds will live. Worlds will die. And the universe will never be the same. What's up, everyone? It's Human Busy. I'm back with another video. So this is Elseworlds Part 3, and my review on it. This crossover kind of got a little better towards the end, um, but I'm going to say things straight out, and obviously there was tons of Easter eggs throughout the whole entire crossover, and I am I was very excited for that. I mean, who wouldn't be excited for a bunch of crossovers and teases and a bunch of different things, and um, it was very exciting. We even got a tease for Crisis on Infinite Earths, which was a big idea that we knew of, and then when Ma Monitor was teasing it, saying that he had, there was a bigger plan and a bigger kind of test come, not even a test, a bigger like battle coming, um, it was like a big hint on that, but um, I mean, yeah, some of us knew it was going to be next, but we don't know, um, could this mean Arrow would is sticking around? I don't know, could this mean this is sticking something? I don't know, we, we don't know much, um, obviously, it was Batwoman who called, who I did not expect to see again, but we, yeah, we got Batwoman, and it was exciting, but this episode, honestly, I thought it was going to be a big letdown, but it was, I got, it was better than I honestly thought, um, obviously we had a, a bunch of different kind of lovey-dovey moments between Alex and Supergirl, where Supergirl was trying to tell, was like, like, kind of giving her memory, same thing with the whole Barry and Cisco thing, Barry, um, the reason he was able to talk to Mr. Ramon was by mentioning Dante, which is Cisco's brother, and, um, so these things wouldn't have happened unless, you know, unless, yeah, you guys understand what I'm trying to say, hopefully, but anyways, yeah, this was exciting, I honestly thought we were gonna see more Mark Manhunter, because I, I was, and I thought we were gonna get, um, bigger kind of reveals that, um, like a Justice League type thing, like, and I'm, I'm really, really hoping that we're gonna get Superman in the next crossover, and, um, we got Superman proposing, because, I mean, people were like, oh, I don't think they're married, but, I mean, if you looked at Lois Lane's hand, she had no ring, but that also could have been because she was doing, like, the work at the barn, but still, so they're getting married, they're having a baby, and that's all very exciting, obviously, it's, they're gonna be going to Argo City or whatever, because, I mean, that's where the powers do not exist, and if, She's gonna be there, you don't- you don't want the baby- like they were saying, oh, the baby, when he starts kicking, that shit can be very, very deadly, because, I mean, you can just imagine, like, a baby Kryptonian kicking inside of a human zombie that she would not leave in one piece, and the baby would most likely not live, and <laughs> it's- it's just crazy, so, I mean, we got to see some of the, um, what is it called- oh my god, my whole- whole- Entire speech vocabulary is just crazy because I mean, I, I just I'm filming this right after I watched the Elseworlds thing, so I mean, this is all it's just it's just crazy, but I'm very excited for all of this. Um, throughout the episode, we saw tons of action, some of the behind the scenes footage that we've seen before, it, most of the behind the scenes footage was for this episode, so a lot of people didn't know that. Like, there was a scene where we see the trigger twins running in the the alley, and that was the scene that happened this episode, um, another scene that we saw was, um, Barry being in a chokehold, and that happened this episode, another thing I'm disappointed about is that they said that there was, there was gonna be a, um, a DC Legends cameo, and honestly, I was expecting Gary, I would, not a Gary, I was expecting, like, Constantine, maybe Ray, or even Sarah, but, lo and behold, we got freaking Gary, <laughs> we got, we got Gary, like, out of all of them, we got Gary, I mean, he's not, he's like an honorary, an honorary legend, like, come on now, like, we, I mean, I expected to get someone, like, a lot more, you know, and another thing I was hoping to get, I was hoping to see some Guardian, but no, we got Jim, Jimmy Olsen, who, instead of being Superman's best pal, is Superman's worst pal, and that was a 
kind of a, a decent joke. Um, we got to see more motivational speeches, which is um, honestly, I I I mean, people like it. I am not a big fan because I mean, it's like I feel like if you're doing something, I feel like a motivational speech shouldn't all of a sudden make your your talent or your capabilities a hundred percent better like uh, maybe you can boost it up a little bit but not like a whole entire different you know what i mean like but yeah i guess he talked to, to mo the monitor and maybe that had a uh, big effect on it i don't know but like i said i'm not a big fan of the motivational speeches which we get in the flash almost every episode and oliver <laughs> made fun of him for that and um yeah we had a big fight between superman and black superman Black suit Superman, and uh, that was exciting. Um, obviously they can't put everything they got into the the fight scene, but just being able to see some of it was very exciting. Um, we got to get some action scenes basically by everyone. We had an action scene with friggin' Lois Lane, which was again exciting. Um, I don't know what she was thinking doing that while she was pregnant, but that's how they were able to stop him, stop um John Deegan, and. As you can see, his whole face got screwed up. I don't even know what that is. I, I didn't. Maybe I didn't pay attention big enough. But that was certainly a surpriser. And um, like I said, at the end of it, when we got the whole infinite crisis on infinite Earths, that was a uh, big, 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 big. That was exciting. End of story. So if we do get the Batwoman TV show, it will hopefully start um, by the time when we get the other TV shows. You know what I mean? So um, or maybe it will start up like um, DC Legends in like later on. I don't know how they're gonna do it. But I'm hoping it starts when all the other shows start. That way she'll be able to be in the crossover. Like, I'm I'm not saying... If her show doesn't start by the time the crossover, there's still a chance of her being in the crossover, straight up. I'm not, I'm not even gonna try to go off on that. But she is... Um, I liked her character. Ever, like, I mean, obviously, characters grow. So, I mean, we're still gonna be seeing more improvement. But I'm, I'm happy to see what we got, honestly. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I'm... Excited with what we got, and I'm truly excited to see more. And this episode honestly kind of showed us a lot more. Um, Diggle, um, Caitlin, all of them were working in the at Star Labs, Star Labs. Um, but it was, it was like I said, it was very exciting. Um, one thing I was really hoping to see was since the bad guys were um, good guys, I was hoping to see more of the bad guys kind of like show off their good guy side, which would have been very exciting, but. You can't get everything right, you know what I mean? <laughs> but like I said, um, I'm just excited for what we got. Um, hopefully I'm gonna show, I'm gonna try to show more and more and more as time goes on. And, um, throughout this episode, I'm, I'm probably gonna show the clip of them fighting. But obviously, copyright and copyright be getting hit left and right. So, if it's not there, it's because I got hit with copyright. But, like I said, I am a loss for words because as how excited I am, like, it, I just can't wait to see in Crisis on Infinite Earths, and, and yeah, that's a long, long way away. It's coming fall 2019, but I don't care. I mean, I'm excited. I, I hope you guys are too. This is just a, a big thing for me, and um, crossovers are extremely exciting for me, and I'm hoping to see some of the Legends. Um, with the way the Legends is going, I wouldn't be surprised if the show's canceled. Like I said, I love Legends, so I mean, that's it, but if they cancel that, then... Maybe we'll get a cameo or two, but I am—I um, don't know. I honestly was expecting them to cancel one of the shows for Batwoman. Because, I mean, DC TV has, what, like, five... We have, like, five superhero shows on CW. What, Black Lightning, Supergirl, The Flash, Arrow, DC Legends, and now Batwoman, which would make it six. And I don't know if their roster would um, allow there to be six um, DC TV television shows in it. But honestly, I, w I would love for that to be the case. I mean, but I mean, you got to think realistically and that's not always going to be the case. We're not always going to get our way like that. But another thing I was disappointed in that we got no signs of Nora. I really wanted um, to see the reaction between Felicity or Oliver when Barry says, oh, yeah, guys, this is my daughter. Because I mean, um, like, I don't know. That just would have been a very kind of funny scene to see. Um, I wish we got more of Barry Allen um, 90s version. I'm just disappointed it there's a lot of things that we can't always get right but i'm excited for other reasons um you can't it's it's whatever you know what i mean but yeah i guess i guess i'm gonna just kind of shorten it down just tell you straight up that i'm very excited to see more we're probably not gonna get superman and the rest of the supergirl season because she said nine months and 
than he said longer. So hopefully that means next crossover, which I'm really, I would really, really love to see him next crossover. I'm going to keep saying that. And another thing is, imagine if the the, the Batwoman show um, starts before, um, or at the same time the other shows start. Can, can you see, uh, um, like, how Superman kind of cameoed or, like, made his way on a Supergirl? It would be cool to see Batman make his way over to Batwoman. And for all we know, we could get him in the crossover. We could finally get a Justice League. And, um, yeah, we didn't get no, uh, I don't, I didn't really see if there was a Justice League reference, but I would really love it. We got, that way, the only, main people we'd be missing is, like, Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, and the Cyborg, right? And Aquaman, of course, but, like, like, it would just flow my boat seeing Supergirl, Superman, Batman, Aqu um, Arrow, um, The Flash, I mean, that would, that would just help me out a lot. Martian Manhunter, um, I don't know, but, like I said, this is your man busy, I, have didn't really get time to put the stuff together, so I apologize for just throwing all of this at you at once. But I really hope you guys like this. I really hope you subscribe. I really hope you help me out. Till next time, this is your man Busy. And I changed my name because I will search up Busy and a bunch of other people will pop up. So I'm changing it back to Busy Braun. Hopefully it will work. But this is your man Busy, Busy Braun. Call me what you like as long as you subscribe. Peace. <laughs> so... Before I do this, I'm going to just say straight up, instead of doing the Superman clip, I'm going to do the teaser for Crisis on Infinite Earths, because I feel like that's bigger, and in another video, I'm going to do the Superman things. I'm sorry to disappoint, but hope you guys enjoy.